Hello and welcome back to another lazy lesson. Last week, when Union Home Minister Amit Shah was introducing the Citizenship Amendment Bill in Lok Sabha, few MPs from the opposition parties got confused and asked if India shared any border with the Afghanistan. And irked by their questions, Amit Shah said, "Hum yehi ke hai, and we know what India's borders are." Dear friends, today we shall be discussing about this mysterious and lesser known border between India and Afghanistan. So this topic is relevant for both your prelims as well as mains. From prelims perspective, you need to understand the geographical position of the Wakhan corridor and the surrounding important areas like Pamir Nort and important mountain chains. And for mains, try to understand the geopolitical significance of the Wakhan corridor for China, India, Afghanistan and Pakistan. But before going further to understand the origin of border between India and Afghanistan, let us first try to locate the Wakhan corridor and Durand line on map. See as per the official map of India India has a boundary of 15000 kilometers with seven countries and these countries include Bhutan Bangladesh China Afghanistan Myanmar Nepal and Pakistan and here India and Afghanistan are separated by the Durand line see Durand line is a boundary line between India and Afghanistan demarcated by Sir Mortimer Durand mapped in 1890s it separated British India from Afghanistan and this Durand line was said to be an outcome of the great game well the great game here means a political and diplomatic confrontation that existed for most of the 19th century between the british empire and the russian empire over afghanistan and neighboring territories in central and south asia so as part of the 1893 agreement which created the durand line a narrow strip of corridor called wakhan corridor was established as a buffer zone between the british empire and the russian empire This buffer zone was created specifically to address fears and apprehensions that existed between these two great empires. So where does this Wakhan corridor lie? Well, today it lies in Afghanistan and is officially administered by Afghanistan. If you look at its shape, it is a little peculiar. International experts compare this shape to a handle of a pan called as pan handle or a finger. And this piece of land is very very narrow, measuring about 60 km at its narrowest points. So politically the corridor is part of Afghanistan's Badakhshan province and besides the corridor is said to be a quadric junction where four countries actually are meeting the Afghanistan and these four countries include China Tajikistan Pakistan and India the corridor which is wedged between Pamir mountains in the north and Karakoram in the south gives rise to important rivers like Panj and Pamir and as per official figures there are around 12000 people residing in that particular corridor now here one important question that arises is does india really have a border with afghanistan if so is it only on map or is it in reality well there is a long bloodshed story behind this see till 1947 when the india was ruled by british the british india shared boundary with the afghanistan through durand line and with the end of the british rule in india in 1947 princely states were left to choose whether to join india or pakistan or to remain independent and jammu and kashmir was one such princely state which had a predominantly muslim population but ruled by the hindu maharaja hari singh so pakistan made various efforts to persuade the maharaja of kashmir to join pakistan and when the maharaja did not agree to this the pakistan tried to take it forcefully so what maharaja hari singh did was he signed an instrument of accession on 25th october 1947 to the indian union in return for military aid so after a series of war talks and international mediations the pakistan finally agreed to step back however it kept a portion of jammu and kashmir for itself and we call it as pak occupied kashmir and here lies the durand line so today do the era is constitutionally and officially recognized by india it is still maintained with pakistan dear friends surprisingly it is not the only portion of jammu and kashmir which is not under the direct control of india we also have aksai chin occupied by china and still claimed by india now why do you think this wakhan corridor or durand line is so much significant for any country maybe india pakistan or even afghanistan well the region is significant both for its geographical and geopolitical significance see geographically it is surrounded by the pristine mountains on all its sides Here various mountains surrounding this region include Tian Sha, Karakoram, Kunlun, Hindu Kush, Suleiman and Pamir mountains. And Pamir not here is called as the roof of the world because of its high altitude. 
so this region may become one of the best tourist places for afghanistan now looking at its geopolitical significance we see that this is a meeting point for both pakistan china and afghanistan see china is already trying hard to be a world leader and by gaining direct access to afghanistan through durand line and through pak occupied kashmir it can further isolate india which is seen as its biggest competitor in the region see as of now the only pass that is existent between afghanistan and china is the wakjir pass it is located at the eastern end of the wakhan corridor so this region is obviously very important for china to further its regional interest in the region this region is already a part of the great old silk route besides famous traveler marco polo traveled all the way from europe to china through this region so as china goes ahead to make itself more comfortable in this region the anxiety for india is bound to increase and hence the strategic significance of pok cannot be denied in the present context and it is also absolutely justified when we say that india should reclaim pok but probably not by force see so far compulsions at the international level coupled with a defensive approach at the domestic level have meant that claims over pok have not been adequately highlighted as part of the overall kashmir issue and hence before we start thinking in terms of reclaiming our territory by force a lot needs to be done on the policy front first of all we need to reshape and strengthen our policy on pok which supports our legitimate claim on pok there is also need to create awareness regarding india's claim over pok not only at the international level but also to a certain extent at the domestic level and if reclaimed pok shall definitely give india unfettered access to afghanistan and more importantly to central asian markets now based on today's discussion let us try to solve a question consider the following statements wakhan corridor connects afghanistan with russia statement 2 india shares its land boundary with five countries which of the above statements is or are correct you can comment your answers in the comment section below and that's it for today thank you